x squared dy dx equals x squared cos x plus 5. So let's have a look at this. We need to separate the variables and integrate. So let's write that down. Separating the variables and integrating then gives gives so let's have a look then. Let's leave the dy where it is. It looks like there's no other y's, does there? Leave the x squared plus x squared cos x plus five here. Now we're gonna to need to move this x squared from times down to divide, aren't we? So there it is there, divide. From one side to the other side, divide. And then the dx can come up from that side to times on this side. There's the variable separated then, and integrating gives. So integral, there's a 1 implicit in the 1 dy, isn't there? So integral of 1 is y, with respect to y. And then here, the x squareds will cancel. So we can split this fraction up into the first part over that, and the x squareds will cancel there to leave cos x plus the second part over the denominator. So that's five over, so that's five x to the minus two, we can write it as dx. Now we can do the integration on a term by term basis. So y equals then, integral of cos is sine, standard integral. And then we've got plus five x raised the power by one and divide by that number, plus a constant of integration. So let's tidy that up then. So y equals then, sine x, the minus and the plus, the minus can come up to be a minus, 5 over x, plus k. There we go. y equals sine x minus 5 over x plus k.